<laughs> no! <laughs> Once us lost the third, I was a strapping yachtser lad. Came rolling over the hills, but didn't want any kingship. Uh, spent most of his life down at the old star, getting absolutely hammered. Kind of lost the accent there, despite all of my experience. All of my trained years of theatre college. Decades. Decades of characterised impersonations. Hey Pebbles, what, why? Why are you looking at me like that? It's eerily quiet. I have no game sound. <laughs> it's a do over. I don't know what happened. <laughs> like the title screen had sound. But the uh, the rest of the game did not. I um, let's just throw that up there. Why not? <laughs> there are no difficulties like technical difficulties. Ah! My favorite thing is when a game tries to full screen. Thinks it's going to full screen in 1080p. Actually full screens in 1440p and it rearranges literally every window on my desktop. Sometimes it'll put them back. So we have audio now. Okay. We have audio now. We had audio last time we streamed the game. So help me God, I remember that. Say it. Charles the Fourth. Oh, it was Charles the Fourth. King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor. Had a long and successful reign. The empire Hi. he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived. The gate opened into a red world. Okay, we got sound here. It's promising. I don't remember that we had sound here on the main menu, but now, now that I see it, yeah, this is better. I think something just failed the load. Happens, doesn't it? We and the game devs know. It is so warm right now. I was this close to buying an insect screen for the window. So I could just open it in summer now. Because summer now. It's not winter. Winter's finished. Can't jump while I've loaded. We got a big chink chink of armor. Captain Bernard is chink chinking around in his armor. Quartermaster doesn't have any armor to chink chink around in. Pebbles. Pebbles. Tell me something good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, someone with the with the hype, someone should do an Uma Musume of the of Pebbles. That would be interesting. I think that would be a worthwhile endeavor for anyone out there. Technical difficulties over, by the way. Hi. Uh. Poison. Potion. Ah, right. Yeah, the potion. Right. How long is it going to take to get the potion? I'm going to go see Matt and Fritz. And I'm going to tell them that their troubles with the friar are forgotten. <laughs> it's funny because they, they got into a brawl with him. And then I went and threatened to break his legs, so... All's well that ends well. Uh, across the river, I think? Yeah. My, my pinky is not cramping up today. We can ride horse for as long as necessary. I don't know what was happening last time. I just felt really weird. You know, when you get that feeling and it's like, mm, that's not good. But today it feels good. I feel good. Did I tell you I bought 
I, I, I ordered the hardware for my, my skateboard. I'm going to put the trucks back on my skateboard. And do you know what? I bought myself a little skateboard gift. Uh, I bought... Because my first, my first first skateboard, not like the first skateboard where I thought to myself, yeah, I'd like a skateboard, please get me a skateboard, or I will buy myself a skateboard. I was actually young, it was a gift, a Christmas present, my 14th birthday or something. Howdy, stranger! Oh. Stop right there. Give me all you've got. Let me out of Oh shit! I killed the wrong guy. Reputation gained. I don't know what for. I killed the guy I was meant to save. Yeah, he did. Oh, it was a merchant. I think they were all bandits. There were perhaps multiple bandits. Not really got anything of, of worth on him, has he? Oh! <laughs> Mercy. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Oh, he had a, a armorer's kit. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah, that's a god. That's my arrow. I'll take that back. Lock. Why do the guards all have lockpicks? Were you guarding the internal contents of someone's house? Italian Bill? How'd they get all these... All these Ita Oh, there's Cumans here as well. Right, okay. This was an interesting complex to have walked into. Always surprises me how expensive the Cuman gear is. Oh yes. Oh, oh yes. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. I saw a dude with some with some dogs. It's Kuman. I have a license to hunt humans. Ah! Get off! Get get off! Get off! Oh, for God's sake! Thank you. 
I'll have you know I'm a professional archer. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect to actually hit him. <laughs> Whoops. Who said that? I'm just looting your dead dogs, dog. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I agree. What? Squish. All right. It's it's fair game. The humans. They're not even allowed to. They don't have visas. Um, and they're, they're I don't know. I don't know. They're uh, they're enemies. They're enemies to the Lord of the Land, right? Then that. What the hell was that sound? Yes. Pop. <laughs> He's already been shot twice. The hell happened? Is that it? At the whole camp? I see what happened. So the bandits attacked the dude, but there was a human camp right next to where they attacked the... Right. I do like how if you come to a camp at night time, all their gear is in the box, and they're just wearing, like... they they just in the tidy whities and they, they have no, no armor, no weapons, and they just fist fight you. They don't, they don't bother getting their stuff. I can't jump while I've loaded. Well, I gotta go back to the main road. So, um... Uh, weapons. Uh, to the, to the horse with you. Thanks, Bebbles. Now I can sprint. Am I sprinting? There we go. So we gotta go to the inn in the Glade, which is to the east directly of Talmberg, apparently. And it's like a super quest hotspot, right? It has named NPCs and everything, but like, I found it by accident while I was doing a completely unrelated quest, and it just feels kinda weird. Do you know what I'm do you know what I'm talking about? Like, I'm glad, right? It's just like an inn. You can do just regular inn stuff there, right? But it's also a quest inn. And I wonder if it if it could if it if you could be led there easier, or if I am just like the principal idiot when it comes to playing video games, and I'm maybe the only person who stumbled across like quest things too early or too late, like that dude, Urban. We figured out why he was fighting us, right? Because apparently, until you get to this quest, you're not meant to be in that area. <laughs> but. It's not a felony. So none of the other guards were really bothered. But the guards were bothered that I was fist fighting with Urban, right? That's that's the crux of the matter. Anyway, I'm glad you came. Hey Fritz. How's it going? Good money, eh? Good money. What, what money? Oh. Uh, uh, look, yeah, go and talk to Matthew first. Well, alright. About your brawl with Elias. Your best friend settled the matter. We... We won't forget this. Oh, on my honor. Thanks.
Where is, where is Fritz? Matthew. Fritz. Matthew. Where's Matthew? Where'd he go? Andrew. Can we get a mod that gives this guy a blue mohawk, please? There he is. Ah. Here's your share. Share. My share of what? What the hell are you on about? Well, that thing with Thomas, uh, somehow his ring ended up with us. Thomas? Who's he? That bastard of a foreman at the mill in the Dechkov, where you got us a job. Are you out of your tiny mind? If anyone finds out you robbed him, we'll all be fucked. Take it easy. It wasn't theft exactly. Um. We all know he stole that ring himself. So if it comes out, we'll be in the shit too. He'll keep his mouth shut. Where did you find someone willing to buy and not ask too many questions? It wasn't easy. But then Fritz thought of Andrew. <laughs> and how did it go with him? <laughs> so, well, just saw well, Andrew. didn't seem too keen. But when he saw the ring, he bought it off us. Actually, I'm not surprised. After all, we'll spend all the money on Boozier anyway. <laughs> I wish you good luck. I'll be off before you come up with some other madcap scheme. Now that you mention it. <laughs> Out with it, then. So what have you thought up now? Yeah. <laughs> I can't help myself. It's force of habit. We tried to be good at Sassal. So good that you punched a novice in the mouth. Exactly. We broke novice. The working in the mill. While you eyed up the miller's daughter. And they drove us out. The only worthwhile thing we did recently was give that wastrel a thrashing take his ring and sell it to Andrew. I'm not sure I like where you're going with this. And where's that? No one in the country gives a damn about the law. Um. And if we knock some thief over the head in the woods, or ambush some wagon with supplies for Sigismund's soldiers, I won't lose any sleep over it. Those swine deserve even worse. But that's what Sahanish is here for, isn't he? What can we do? Wake up, for Christ's sake! It's war! They skewered your Harry. parents, didn't they? Harry, they fucking burnt out. Oh, you fucking work did, didn't they? for Sir Hanush. Don't you give a damn about that? Of course I fucking do. And now, there's a herd of swine ransacking skeletons. Those fuckers are trampling over the ashes of Jeremiah, and Desmond, and Siegfried, and Tristan. Let's chop those bastards to pieces, one after the other. Now he's getting into it. I can't let it go, Hal. Even if I have to do it on my own. I'll put the fear of God into those bastards. We'll strike fear into the fuckers. Arr. I knew we could rely on you, Hal. I knew it. So, what's the plan? Well, I thought Andrew the innkeeper here could help us, but he's nervous. Best ask Fritz. We sorted out selling the ring, and he knows Andrew better. Oh, no. All right, I'll do that. God be with you. God be with you. I think we'll. I think we'll leave that quest for now. I have a bed here, right? In... Up... Around... Where? Ladder on the roof? Up there? Middle room?
We got books to read, haven't we? Strap in. We're gonna read them. Grasses and herbs too. Gotta get some food. Your clothes. Were you assaulted? Yes. Damn bandits. May yes. they burn in hell. Curse them. Uh pork. Lentil mash. Horseradish. Bit of mead. Roast chicken. Can I sell my dog lot here, actually? Yay. Horse. 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 Who? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Some real noises going on here. Oh, it's raining. Ah, oh, man. It's also dark. Wow. that help. Alright, we just, yeah. just got to cut through 
to, to, to the Algets, uh chemist. See if the potion's ready. Oh! <laughs> ah, screw it. We'll have to cross that river, though. So, um, even if this is a path, better lead to a bridge. A big river. It is a big river. It's a huge river. Wah, 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 wah. Ah! Remember, kids, don't don't text and drive. Oh, ah! Okay, let's, let's burn rubber. Oh! I almost forgot. Apparently we already knew about that. Ah, I remember this road. Nice place for an ambush, huh? You, uh, you done? Jesus Christ be praised. How may I serve you? God be with you. Okay. Not done yet, I guess. Got a little kiln, a lot of wood, a lot of wood, rabbits, nettles, don't. Do not tell me that all of the stuff was just here. Chicken.
No, there's 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 no mint here. Thank God. Have a seat. Read a book. There we go. Fable of the Fox and the Pitcher. Once was a fox searching around for any food that could be found to an empty farmhouse she did roam, wherein a beetle had made his home. She asked him, Beetle, kindly tell me, whose abandoned farmyard can this be? To which the beetle did confess. That even I cannot guess. I came here just a while ago, little I've seen and less I know. The fox began to look around to anything that she could hunt. Down! She sniffed around a bit and then to an iron stove she went. As she turned to look up, as she turned and looked above, she spied a pitcher on the stove. Good day, joke, she greeted it. I trust, sir, that you are well and fit. No reply came from the pitcher, so the fox picked it up and took it with her. She carried it outside. Panting hard, where she met the beetle in the yard. Fox, what are you carrying? Asked he. You can barely walk, I see. It's a pitcher that I found, she answered, which will surely please my master. At the top of the hill, the joke weighed her down, so she dropped it on the ground. She said, good sir, now, if you will, I'd like you to roll down the hill. Don't take it ill, dear man of clay, but you're too heavy to carry all day. Down the hill, the pitcher charged, and the fox ran after, panting hard. Pitcher, must you run so fast? My heart will burst inside my chest. The jug reached the bottom and came to a halt. No more could he roll. It wasn't his fault. Come now, sir, the fox is called. Only halfway you have rolled. It seems you don't want to go with me. Well, like it or not, you will. You'll see. Jug, you'll stick with me forever. From now on, we will not be severed. No, so saying, she tied it to her tail. Now, pitcher, come with me, you shall. In your own juice soon, you soon will stew. You will drown in sorrow, I promise you. The devious fox ran with a yell and dragged the pitcher to a well. She teach that drug a cruel lesson. Instead, she made herself the fool. Pitcher, for your sins, you'll pray no more. You'll wickedly delay. And then, forgetting in her pride the pitcher to her tail was tied, the vixen scrambled up the ledge and dropped the pitcher over the edge. If you refuse to pray, she said, you'll drown this very day. The joke floated safe on the water, and which the fox angrily uttered, Pitcher, you'll learn soon enough. I'll stop your wicked bluff, but I'll forgive you nevertheless if you'll admit your wickedness. But the pitcher had not to say, for no tongue had that man of clay. That made the vixen angrier still, and the pitcher floating in the well, I'll humor you not one more wit. You'll, you've made your bed, now lie in it. Good God. And that she pushed the jug below, the water into it did flow, started to drag the vixen down, she pulled away in fear, she drowned, come now jug, said good sir, stop this game, I do implore. But the water poured inside the jug, slowly down the well it sunk, she saw the surface drawn near, the fox began to cry in fear, oh whoa, what will become of me? Oh jug, forgive me kind sir, and in return I'll give my word that I'll not harm you anymore. What? If you'll live, if you'll let me live a sinner poor. These words said... She, she said with her last breath, down she sank into the depths, till the pitcher sat on the bottom at last, to the tail's fox tied good and fast. No chance to get out thus bound. That was how the fox the vixen drowned. Thus ends the tale of the fox a sly, who for her slyness had to die. Outsmarted by an earthen jug, it was her own grave that she had dug. Okay, that was, that was morbid. Maiden's War 1. Oh god. Upon the death of Princess Labuse, the maidens who had enjoyed her accompaniment found that they were no longer held in the great esteem that they had once enjoyed. They recalled how the princess had ruled over the male part of their tribe when the men folk said to unto them, Hut! You have ruled over us. We have bowed before you and now you seem as sheep that have gone astray. Their anger rose greatly, and the anger of the women and the maidens having caught fire, the females of the tribe took up their spears and swords and waged war against the men under the command of Lasta. Lebuse's attendant and higher standing on her command, they built the castle at Devin, and then dispersed throughout the land to call and service all women to wage war against their husbands and brothers. Yet hardly a soul took them seriously, and it was with great mirth the men did observe these girls taking up arms and learning to saddle horses. However, Premisil, the wise ruler that he was, did not find merriment in those actions and warned his men to broker peace. His warnings were not heeded, however. 
and they set out to defend in great merriment, but alas, the women did not flee. With last day in the lead, they charged out the gate, chainmail on their bodies, helmets on their heads, and spears aimed to kill. If we allow ourselves to be vanquished, called out the last day, it will be then that the men shall laugh at us. We shall become their servants and slaves, for it is better to die than to give up. Strike at the men, and each and every one, be he brother or father, and the furies then did set upon them, until three hundred men lay dead in their own blood, and the rest had fled. When news of this victory had spread throughout the land, other women did not falter and came straight forth to Devin, and hence the men were greatly aggrieved at home, for they were alone. And they were aggrieved on the battlefield as well, for the women gave them no quarter, sparing neither brother nor father. Oof. Oof. Why do I have four copies on St. Wenceslas? Why do I have four copies of on St. Wenceslas? This is like a Devil May Cry scenario. <laughs> The first copy was written in Hungarian, uh, second copy was missing half the pages. In Bohemia, there was a prince, the third copy wasn't first print, so I had to get a new one. In Bohemia, there was a prince of the name Vratislas, and his wife was Daromira. Unto them was born a son, and they gave unto him the name of Wenceslas. After his father's untimely death, he was to sit upon the throne, but giving, having yet been grown of age, his mother ruled in the land in his stead, and it was his grandmother Ludmilla who cared for his upbringing. His brother was Bolislaus, and they grew up together, although they had little in common. They're brothers. They have so much in common. And if they are fighting in the back seat again, I swear to God I'll come back there. Although they had learned in common, though, through God's mercy, Vences last learned to read and write. Being learned of books and firm of faith, he could wield the sword as well, but above it all was peace and his country that he did love. He performed many kind acts unto the poor, clothing the naked and feeding the hungry, protecting the servants of God. Nice. Having many churches erected, uh, he was a paragon for his people and a ruler that was kind above others. For with his enemies, he always did negotiate with good intentions, and they too did kneel before his piety. With his whole heart he exalted God, and good deeds he performed were innumerable. Thus it was to the surprise of none that the devil planted the seed of hatred in many corrupted men's hearts that set them against Wenceslas. He urged them, like so many Judases, to revolt against their lord. And they did whisper to Boleslaus in his, that his brother wished to take his life. Boleslaus, believing these words, devised a plan, out of fear and resentment, to take his brother Wenceslas' throne as well as his life. He knew that whenever a new church was consecrated, Wenceslas would go to that place to pray. And he did thusly, when on Sunday, on the feast of St. Cosmas and Damien, he entered Boleslas's castle, and having attended Mass, he prepared to depart for Prague. His brother, detaining him, invited him to the table to drink, but Wenceslas declined. Early in the morning, Wenceslas rose and hurried to morning Mass, where in front of the church gate he met his brother and said unto him, Brother, last evening you served us well. Boleslas then, guided by the devil, responded thusly, and now I shall serve you even better. And that as those words left his mouth, he struck Wenceslas a blow to the head with his sword. And Boleslas' dog set upon him as well. And together with their master, they killed Wenceslas and left his broken body in front of the church. Boleslas then sat upon his brother's throne. Today Wenceslas has already been sainted and established as patron saint of the lands of Bohemia. We call unto him in times of darkness. And to him we pray, St. Wenceslas, patron saint of our country, pray for us. Four copies. Four copies. What time is it? 9 a.m. Harry, how fast can you read? On tournaments. <laughs> tournaments, or tourneys, are a favourite entertainment of the court and sometimes an amusement for the common people, far and wide, who come to watch Lord's most noble birth joust as if the world itself such combat as if in the world itself such combat was rare. However, in the tourney, unlike true battle causing injuries, forbidden and thus weapons are blunted and arms modified as needed. 
Sometimes unfortunate deaths do transpire. Mounted knights armed with lances may vie with one another in attempts to dismount their opponent, or knights on foot armed in diverse manner may try to throw their opponent to the ground, and the defeated must surrender his weapon. You can buy it back only in gold. Damn. The Malay has a special type of ha 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 hastil hastilud in which great teams of knights engage in combat that seems to resemble true battle, but the dealing of fatal blows is forbidden. In the kingdom of Bohemia, the tournament was widespread during the reign of King Wenceslas. When the hero Ogre from the German lands did come to his court and bring with him the curious amusement and alongside it, great poverty to the whole land. Good. For henceforth did lords travel in great numbers to compete in tourneys, spend great fortunes upon them, and no money remained for other purposes. And they took to adorning themselves and their steeds with coloured cloth, to pose before their opponents, and they did cross arms more in tournaments than in real combat. Today, elder men of noble birth do recall how the Czechs were once the greatest fighters in all the Holy Roman Empire, but when the tournament arrived, their abilities did, they did squander, and today their displays on the true battlefield are of no merit. Forsooth, some fighters, particularly great renowned, incapable of dealing a proper blow in world combat, so low have their combat skills sunk. Perhaps one day knights will become true men again. Turn away from colourful tourneys and head back to the battlefield. For the many mer merriment of tournament is certainly even an effort, a front to God himself. Fuck. The rule of St. Benedict II. Uh, no. What? Rule of St. Benedict II. Well, maybe it's the disciples. Rule of St. Benedict II. Up and sold the Duff book. Hey! 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 The first degree of humility is the obedience without delay. This besimeth those. Besimeth, I yeah. Those who either through fear of hell or for the glory of life everlasting count nothing more than dear to them than Christ. These presently, as soon as anything is commanded, then by the superior make no delay in doing it, just as if the command had come from God. This obedience will then be acceptable to God and pleasing to men. If what is commanded be not done fearfully, slowly, coldly, or with murmuring, or an answer showing unwillingness because the obedience which is given to superiors is given to God, who hath said, He that heareth you heareth me. Hence it ought to be done by the disciples with good will, because God loveth a cheerful giver. If the disciple obey with ill will and a murmur, not only in words but also in heart, although if he fulfill what is commanded of him, it will not be acceptable to God. Who considereth the heart of the murmurer for such a work he shall not have any reward, but rather incurreth the penalty of murmurers. Ah, oh, unless he amend main make satisfaction. Fuck. This, this, this is heavy, man. This is heavy. You gotta do your job and like it too. Trebuchet can't be finished. I'm waiting for the potion. Shit. When, therefore, anyone taketh upon himself the name of abbot, he ought to govern his disciples with twofold doctrine. That is, he ought to first show them all virtue and sanctity more by deeds than by words. Hence, the su uh, such are intelligent. He may declare the commandments of God by words, but to the hard-hearted and to those of the ruder sort, he must make these pre precepts manifest by his actions and by his life. Therefore, the abbot ought to teach, ordain, or command nothing, but what is conformable to the commands of our Lord, but let his commands and doctrine be mingled in the minds of his disciples, the, le the leaven of divine justice. Let there be no distinction of persons in the monastery. Let not one be loved or favoured more than another, except if he be found to surpass the rest in good works and in obedience. Therefore, let the abbot bear equal love to all, and let all be subject to the same orders and discipline, according to their deserts. Deserts? Deserts. Deserts? Deserts. With the more virtuous and intelligent, let him, for the first or second time, use words of admonition. But the stubborn, the hard-hearted, the proud, and the disobedient, even in the beginning of their sin, let him chastise with stripes and bodily punishment, knowing that it is written, The fool is not concerned with words. And again, strike thy son with the rod, and thou shalt deliver his soul from death. Ooh. Sage. Can I eat it? You can eat sage. I have 334 mints. We can eat mints, right? We are plowing this, this text today, friends. 
We are plowing this text. King Sigismund of Hungary. The son of Char Emperor Charles IV and his fourth wife, Elizabeth of Pomerania, may not have inherited the royal or imperial throne as his brother Wenceslas did, but from his father, his slyness, intelligence, and political talent did he inherit qualities. His brother, the future king, was desperately lacking. For the ginger hair he was born with and his slyness, which he did display many a time in his youth, he was given the so sobriquet of the ginger fox by which he was later called by his enemies, especially Sigismund, oh, especially for stop, Sigismund, is learned, learned and popular, and a great influence, indulgence in competing in tourneys and seven languages of the world, does he speak shit? I don't even speak seven languages of the world, what the fuck? When's Dark Sigismund, what the hell? Since 1387 has he been king of Hungary when he wed Mary, Mary of Hungary, he was at the time engaged to be married to the Duke of Orleans, and thus many of evil tongue do say he took her by force and unjustly, however it may have been though he successfully defended his right to rule Hungary. Later seeing his brother Wenceslas' inability to rule, he did collude with Jobst of Moravia and did commence the plot against Wenceslas, who ended up in his captivity with the great support of the Czech nobleman, who would rather see Sigismund sit upon the throne than an inept ruler who devotes his time to efforts to more drinking and hunting than to performing his royal duties, but Wenceslas was freed by his other brother, that Sigismund's plan to seize power in Bohemia fail. In the year 1396, Sigismund planned a crusade, took up arms against the Ottoman Turks, but to the misfortune of all Christians, he was defeated at the Battle of Nicopolis. Now thus, he recovered himself, he removed himself to Hungary. Later, when his brother Wenceslas' rule in Bohemia deteriorated to the point where his own nobility rose up against him, he called upon his brother for assistance, and he did truly set off Bohemia with a powerful Hungarian army. But being knowledgeable of his local situation, instead of helping his brother, he occupied his castles and towns and had his brother imprisoned, taking the crown for himself, and finally bringing order to the land. Many do say he is a traitor, whilst others do praise his deeds. In all respects, however, he is indeed a much better ruler. Hmm. Wow. That's, that's, that's a fair roast, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose we should go see the trebuchet, right? Yeah. Hasta la vista. What does that even mean, though? Interesting sight. Charcoal burners. Come on, Pebbles, we gotta see that trebuchet yeet. You wanna see a medieval yeet, don't you? Ah. How'd he do, Lado? Huh, well, there it is. You're right, I was thinking of a catapult. I was thinking that they were going to build a catapult. But this is a trebuchet. It's slightly different, isn't it? And it's in real-time graphics, wow. <laughs> Let's see how strong those walls are. Rah! Let it rip! Did he just say let it rip? <laughs> There's no fucking Beyblade, mate. <laughs> uh, that was just the first shot. The trebuchet has to be calibrated. That's perfectly normal. I'll have the range in no time. <laughs> Get the proof person from the home. Whoop thop. Move. Move. 
damn it, I have to get to Sir Divish. Did you just talk to him? Sir, He's right there. They're coming. There's no time. There's I'm no wondering water. There's no time what? Breathe, man. You'll be all right. Who's coming? There's an army on the way. And they're carrying the colors of Havel Medic, of Valdek. And they're very close. Havel Medic is surely not coming to help us. Not that bastard. I have a score to settle with. I think everyone has a score to settle with this gentle friend. So, um... We'll put the siege on hold for, for a brief second. There's only like 10 people in there anyway. Yes! Gentlemen, Toth's reinforcements are about to descend on us. That swine. How many men? We don't know exactly, but there are many. And they will probably be here by dawn. So soon? How is it that we knew nothing about this before? The whole land is in chaos. It's a wonder we can find out anything at all. If they attack from the rear... We'd be finished. Just as Toth has been planning. A sneaky weasel. He's been one step ahead of us the whole time. Not this time, though. What are you thinking? Robard, how do you think the weather will be tomorrow? Uh, well, sir, uh, if my joints don't deceive me, and they rarely do, it'll rain. It'll rain buckets. <laughs> here. We'll make a stand here, I and Radzig's men. You will wait until they charge us, and then strike them from the rear. Here and here. If Ooh. we succeed, we'll have it over and done with before they notice anything in town. It might just work, but we'll have to leave someone in the encampments in case they do come out of Talbert. A few men will be all I need. Well, that depends on whether you can hold out. We don't even know how many there are. We will hold out. We will. I'll give the orders to my men. You just sent Harry in there. He's fairly deaf for the blade. And a bow and a blind corner. <laughs> My part in the battle, sir. Whoop. I wanted to go with the scallops, man. I need more than that from you. More, sir. If we can't hold out at the quarry, we're finished. You, I, Hanish, and Radzik. And since Hanish is commanding the flank attack, Radzik is captive and I'm wounded. Captain Robard will be leading on the field. Of course. Who better? There's no question Robard's a good commander. But many of the men will be from Scallops. We need someone there who knows them and has their respect. Sir? I mean you, Henry. But that is... I'm no hero. Never was. I want to be in the vanguard. Now hear me well, Henry. Oh. There are whole cemeteries full of heroes who rushed into danger. And if the first human you meet runs you through, it won't be good for morale. Not to mention that Radzik would have my guts for garters. Hmm. In the battle, you and a group of Scarlet's men will be concealed in the woods over the road. But sir, I think I should... Quiet. Don't underestimate the task I'm setting you. You'll have to keep nervous men on a short reign and not attack too soon. And then conduct the attack on the rear so fiercely and quickly that the foe has no chance to react. If the line should start to move, we need someone with their head firmly on the shoulder He's just there, humming this. And uh, Divish is just like, are you even listening to me? <laughs> If you thought you'd be spending the whole siege sitting on your arse playing dice and swilling ale, you were sadly mistaken. Have a medic is bearing down on us with his band of goat fuckers. Yeah. His band of goat fuckers. A, a goat's more common on the mainland. See, I live on a very small island off the coast of Europe. Um, here, we refer to them as sheep shaggers, not goat fuckers. A 
I guess it has much the same meaning. Herb potion from the Herb Wamon. Hey oh. I've come to collect the juice. With you. Do you need anything? So, is the concoction ready? All done. Here, take the keg. I won't be lugging a heavy great thing like that around myself. Thank you for your help. Well, best of luck, lad. Now, I need a rest. God be with you. We got we got the brew. Yeah. Go deliver the brew. And we'll be ready to roll. And they ignore the fact that, like, Harry has like 18 volumes in his backpack. Just reading the whole fight. Who am I taking this to? A oh, robot? Yeah. Hey, buddy! You wanna talk to me? Buddy, I got a, I got a thing for you. Bernard. Ben Bernard. Bernardi. I have a thing for you, dude. Get off your fo- get, get off your fucking horse. Hey! Hey! Unhorse him. Just fucking get down. Can I please complete this quest, please? Hey. Did you just fucking run me over? Bro. Bro, don't don't make me unhorse you. Does a lot of damage, huh? I get the feeling he's patrolling. You know, he he won't be done patrolling for a while. Hey, what time is it? Almost five p.m. Come on, get off your horse. Get off your horse. Go on. Let me talk to you, dude. Dude. Stop ignoring me, dude. Dude. Hey. It's important. I got the brew. Apparently I've never been here before. Splash. Splash, splash. Hey, Nicodemus, you made it. Why are you like Alright, mate. <laughs> hey. Well, if it isn't the world-renowned victor of the Rat-Eye Tawny, Henry of Scalitz. Multi-victor, thank you. What do you think of Master Kizo? I've already asked him to stay on here when this is over. His ideas are incredible, even that trebuchet. I can't wait to launch it. <laughs> Sounds like you're sorry not to be the siege master. Who knows? I may still get a chance. Oh. Take care. Roby Boby. 
He got off his horse. Roby Bob. Benadi Dadi. He won't talk to me though. Friend. Hey. Friend. I have some bad news. Oh. More. More bad news. This clan has reinforcements coming. If Sir Radzig is to have any chance, we'll have to defeat them quickly and mercilessly. Remember, in the absence of your lord, you must fight for him. For him and for Scarlets. Scarlets. Give those bastards what's coming to them. Dismissed. Dismiss talk. Good day. This ought to help with your sleepy soldiers. Oi. Stinks to hell. Yes, and it's hellish potent too. A drop in the evening, and you won't fall asleep till just before noon. Really? Fucking yikes! That is the that's that's a quad shot. That's a quad shot latte with eight sugars. It's hard to sleep with the runs, isn't it? Oi. You're not much good as a guard when you're squatting in the bushes. Townburger? Sorry. What? Complete all optional quests in the siege quest. I'll be with Fuck yeah. Oh, 360. <laughs> I should sleep and save. Is there a bed that I can just use here? God save you, Henry. Hey, Godwin. What's cracking? Good health to you. Good health to you, too. Be with you. He's just gonna roast him more about using a sword. Yeah, one hour. One hour's fine. We can save on an hour's sleep. That's all I want. Game saved, baby. Game saved. Bebbles. Yeah. Oh, you almost made that as well. I'm impressed, Bebbles. You have impressed me. I'm not entirely sure where I'm meant to be going here. I'm just gonna follow the, the arrow. <laughs> There's a Ford right here, and you couldn't have latched onto that instead of the bank. Friends. Crouch down, please, Harry. Easy. They were expecting us. First 
troops to the bridge. Break through. Vanguard to the left. And the rest, come with me. We'll fight the bastards. At the charge! Ride those horses into the dirt. These are bandits. These aren't Cubans. Bandit, check it out. What? Big questions. Why? Why do? Why, why doesn't anybody, anybody have his spears? Oh, there's a spear right there. Yo, 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 yo. There's a spear right there. Pick that up. Dude, that's a halberd, bro. There's, uh, there's a guy behind. Uh, did it. Uh, this doesn't look like a happy cutscene. Help Sahanoush. Where? I still got my spear. Bop! 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 Spears like that's what it's about. Spears are the OP medieval weapons. Here's their leader. What? This boy. You should show a little more respect, Divish. Tell him. You'll need it when you kneel before Istvan. Oh, <laughs> now the pup shows his teeth. Hmm. Istvan, you say? Not Sir Istvan? Or Lord Toth? Just how intimate are the two of you? Uh I know him. He's Eric. Toth's captain and right hand man. <sighs> Finally, some good news. Oy. Shackle him and guard him closely. Howdy doody. Those bastards want to destroy our trebuchet. Oh am I gonna am I gonna do some horse combat now? Do I get to ride pebbles with my halberd? Do I get to ride pebbles with my halberd? Yeah, I do! Yeah. On side, lads. Is this couch lance? Can I couch lance with this? Oh, bro. I can... Can I couch lance? Is this a legitimate attack?
I think the big question is why is no one else on that horse? <laughs> why am I the only one here? <laughs> ah, I see you, little scumbags. Dirt bag, take your dirt now. Nah. You cannot couch lance. Or if you can, that's not how you do it. Who's hitting me? Oh, there's more. How to duty. Get poked. Can't master strike with a spear? That's some BS. Required a new patch. Master strikes with spears. Boosh! No messing around. Absolutely annihilated. Ooh! Lad doesn't have a jaw left. Yeah! I don't know what he was doing. Single-handedly held that defense. Single-handedly. With one hand. Well, do it. Uh, the damage isn't too serious. So we can shoot? Not just yet. Oh. Sir, what are we waiting for? You've heard his threats, Robard. Do you want him to kill Radzik and my wife? We have to consider all our options. And it would be a shame to destroy They have the, the same haircut. Too. How do we I get just that noticed. Out of there? So I might have a solution. What about exchanging hostages? He was the captain at Vranjik, and he brought Istvan's reinforcements here. He seems to be on very um, intimate terms with Toth. He might be able to. Tell <laughs> he might even be as valuable to his lord as Lady Stephanie and my father are to us. <laughs> You're your father's son, by God. You're a godsend, lad. You're right. We'll interrogate this whore, son, and then decide what to do next. Come to my tent when you've rested. Got my spear. How do I drop spear? How to drop a spear. I'd love to be able to just stow it and not be in combat mode this whole time, but... G. F. R. T. Nope. C. Hi, Pebbles. Z. X. Hi, Pebbles. V. B. Go to the inventory, and you drop the halberd. <laughs> there it is. And now you can't pick it up again. There we go. Now I feel fine. Look, that didn't take ten minutes. Let's go again right now. Stop talking, or make your peace with God. Do your worst. I won't. Ah, Henry! Just the man I want. This fool would rather hang than sing. You know more about him than we do, so maybe you can get something out of him. Henry there, sweating. Putting on knuckle dusters. Well now, Eric. It is Eric, isn't it? Looks like the boot's on the other foot this time, doesn't it? Fuck you. <laughs> you need to change your tone. If you start being nice, you might just come out of this alive. So now I'll ask you a few questions, and you better think carefully about how you answer them. <sighs> how did you meet him? He killed my parents. What? Toft killed your parents? You could... 
his death. They were weak. Ishtavan strong. He took better care of me than any father. Who is this Toth? He's an orc, same as me. The Turks killed his parents, so he started killing Turks. Sigismund needed men like that, so Ishtavan ended up in his service. Ain't go too well though, did it? What is he after? Are you really that clueless? To destroy Wenceslas's allies. You. How many men does he have in the castle? How should I know? There were nearly 70 of us at the beginning. But there's probably not even half left. But that's still more than there ever were in that castle. More than enough to defend it. Hmm. Oh. Who does he take his orders from? Are you stupid? He works for Sigismund. Listen to me. Toth has hostages in the castle, and we have you. So, how about an exchange? Do you take him for a fool? Do you really think he'd give up the only thing he has that stops you from attacking? It's true, he would. He'll never accept an exchange. You better pray he will, for your own sake. Because once we attack, you'll be worthless to us. And what do you suppose will happen to a worthless bandit? I won't waste any more time on you. You could have saved yourself, but apparently you value your master's skin more than your own. I don't need to save myself. Ishtavan will save me. And he'll kill every last one of you. Why should he save you? He'll sacrifice you, just like everyone in Vranik and Pribislavitz. You're nothing but a common bandit. You don't know anything. <laughs> this is the Bastion main that I played at that one time. <laughs> you don't know what I've seen. You don't know what I know. Much about you. Could it be your lovers? You never understand. For a while there, I thought we'd get nothing out of him, but in the end, he spilled his guts. I thought you were much too easy on him, but it seems your approach was the right one. Well done, lad. Anyway, it's clear that young fellow is no ordinary brigand. And he believes Toth cares about him. We'll just have to see if the bastard cares as much about him as Divish does about his wife and you about your father. Mm, 625 Groshi boys. That'll fill the hole. Well, Divish. Well, Divish. I think the time has come to find out just how much Toth values our hostage. Do you want to parley with him yourself? I think I'll leave that to you, Hamish. So be it. I'll do my utmost. <laughs> Bring the hostage below the battlements. I like this. A lot of cutscenes. A lot of nice cutscenes. Sir what is it? Did our neighborly visit catch you unprepared? No, we Very killed everybody well. and took hostages. But we've settled in nicely. And this fellow is enjoying our company so much, we simply can't get rid of him. It seems we are in similar situations. Perhaps it's time to send our respective guests home. Not a chance. Do you take me for a fucking fool? <laughs> If anything happens to Eric, I'll let every man jack here have his way with this bitch, and I'll dice Kobila into goulash meat. Nobly spoken, your grace. But for all I know, you may have done that already. Divish, I'm sorry. You're sorry what? Oh! Greetings, friends. Fear not, Lord Toth is treating us like royalty. <laughs> They're unharmed, as you can see. Don't try any tricks or they won't be for long, Hanush. It seems your lord doesn't place any great value in you, boy. Go to hell. Oh. I'm sorry. Looks like it's not going to be that easy. Hmm. 
Well, at least we know they're alive. I didn't expect much of it anyway. Oh. He won't harm them as long as we have this fellow. Well, friends, what do you suggest? I'd say we have no choice but to attack. Hmm. It's a great risk, Robard, with Stephanie and Radzig inside. I know how you feel, sir, but Toth is no fool. They are his last safeguard. He will do nothing to harm them until he is sure of victory. Would you be saying that if it were your wife inside? Or your father? Well, let me point out that we have no choice anyway. We don't have enough supplies to keep men here for weeks. While gangs of brigands and Sigismund's army roam the countryside, hmm. Toth won't agree to an exchange, and even if he did, we'd have to let him go. With all his men, he'd be a thorn in our sides till Judgment Day. Sir, a message has arrived. Oh, what is it? Margrave Yobst is approaching with his retinue and wants to speak with you. Huh. Yobst, you say? All right. What is he doing here? Who's Yobst? Yobst of Luxembourg is cousin to King Wenceslaus and Sigismund. He's the Margrave of Moravia. Only a year ago, he was collaborating with Sigismund and the League of Lords. He betrayed King Wenceslas and his ally Prokop. <laughs> now, he's changed sides, appointed himself the leader of the rebellion against Sigismund, and wants to liberate Wenceslas. Oh, okay. Whichever way the wind blows. Nevertheless, it seems the decision is made for us. We don't want Yobst camping with us in front of our own castle like a band of gypsies? Hmm. I'm afraid you're right, Hanush. All right. We'll let the men rest a while and then attack. Come to me when everything is ready. Is everything ready? Can we not just go now? Can we not just pop him? Ah! An oath is an oath. Talk to Sidivish when you're ready. I'm taking this halberd with me. What do you mean 59 frames a second? What's wrong with you? What's happening here? Apparently this visor overlay is, is is kicking my frame rate hard. Maybe it was just loading something. You watch it, you buddy. There's nothing wrong with having a visor on, right? Can you not sprint with this thing? Apparently you can't sprint with this thing. Which is a shame. You can ride a horse with it though. I think that's what we're meant to do, right? Something something nobles, something riding horses, something something jousting something. Beep! Horse reversing. Beep. Where on God's green earth is he? Oh, he's, he's in the camp at the top of the hill. All right, okay. Watch, watch it, Divish. Let's go. I'm glad you came. At your service, sir. I'm about to give the order to bombard Talmberg. And since it's mainly thanks to you that we still have a trebuchet, I think you should have the honor of the first shot. I'll be delighted. To smash my castle? I can't say I share your enthusiasm. Sorry, sir. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> There's nothing to it. The men will load the trebuchet. What do you All mean? All you have to do is pull the lever. God damn it. I suppose I could manage that. 
Then we'll bombard Talmer for several days. Sir Robard will explain what comes next. Take care. I gotta go all the way back to the trebuchet on the other goddamn hill. Why couldn't you camp in one place, man? Come on. Yeah. There's a bridge here, though, right? There's a there's a bridge. There's a there. It is. Yeah. It's really weird. He's holding it like he's gonna be couch lance, but it doesn't do anything. Invisible wall blocking me from going around that way. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Message received. Dude, is that a ratchet? Dude. I would have thought they, they wouldn't have a ratchet system, but then how would it work if they didn't have a ratchet system? But I mean, they'd have a ratchet system, of course, to lock the trebuchet down in the, in the fire position, then they'd have a trigger lever, but, like, they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have concentric pin barrel ratcheting, uh, movements, right? They'd have a wheel with, with spokes, uh, and you'd either have, uh, elevation enough to, uh, to spin the wheel freely on a wheel with spokes, you could so then you just have multiple spokes, or you you put you move the spoke from wheel to wheel, right? From hole to hole, sorry. You know, you you pull it back, take the spoke out, push it in, pull it back, take the spoke out, push it in, pull it back. Where's the lever? Where's the gun button? Do not stand there, friend. Greetings. Hey. There was precious little in it, and we could have lost everything. That's how it goes in war. But God stood by us. And in the end, they're nothing but a bunch of filthy cutthroats. They're sneak thieves and assassins. But does that make them real soldiers? Well, they're apt to wait till a man nips off into the bushes to relieve himself, lifts up his chainmail tunic and stab him in the back. Personally, I'd rather face a proper soldier. Because you know just who you're up against. That's probably why Toth is giving us such a hard time. Ah, uh, okay. Take care. There it is. Yee. Divish said, Sir Divish. <clears throat> Sir Divish. Said you tell me what happens next. I 
We're going to watch Istran shitting himself. That's all? For a few days, at least. So if you have anything to attend to, now's the time. Just don't forget to come back. Take care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait until the two-day bombardment is finished. How long is that going to take? Is something the matter? A few of them have taken to their heels. If they stop in Kutenberg, I'll be glad enough. But I fear they may have other plans. If those were the best of Ishvan's men, they could be lurking in the woods. They'll probably wait to attack us at the worst possible moment. Fight! My fear, exactly. I won't breathe easy until... until Toth is hanging from the gate. But in the meantime, I'll be glad to know the woods at my back are clear. Can I count on you? Of course, Sir Ebar. Would you like me to bring back their gear as evidence they're dead? That's not necessary. I trust you, Hal. You don't even have to do the killing. Just let me know where you find them and that'll be that. There's no need for you to get hurt in the process. Who says I'm gonna get hurt? What do you think of Master? Well, definitely. Do you think there's any- I've never seen such we- It does suck that you can't sprint with a spear. Yeah. Yeah. Guess we just go uh, east until we find them, right? Is this, um, all oh, right? Oh, they're across the river, then, right? Yeah, brain, they're in there, of course. Yeah. Serious? Where? Oh, found it. All right, mate. Too difficult. Overloaded.
Two damage to repair. Sells for 800 gold? How? How do I sell a halberd? Yum, 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 yum. There's a camp all the way to the west, and then one slightly to the north. So, guess we'll whip over, and then we'll loop over, and then we'll be done. Thanks, Pebbles. Good job jumping when I press the jump button. Whee. Howdy doody, laddo. To hear you need to hear soldiers cheering every time that happens not like not like a happy cheer just like a way kind of cheer oh, easy 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 whoa confribulations friendos So did people just leave things in streams yeah. to refrigerate them? Like back before, refrigerators didn't actually exist. I guess it makes sense. Streams are usually fairly cold. There's running water, so it won't putrefy. I guess there's some instances where it wouldn't work, but you, like if it's if it's like a delicate thing, you could always put it like in a bladder, right? You could like make, make a leather sack or something. When you make a waterproof thing out of, you usually be a leather. Yeah. The feeling they're gonna be in this cave. Is that a cave? Looks ah! It looks like a cave. It's not actually a cave, is it? It's just some rocks. Let's have a look at a map of the area. Apparently there's a camp behind Bunch of deer, no camp. Up the hill, I guess. Up and around. Up and over. What's that? What's that? Oh, it's out of bounds. That's what it is. It's nothing. It's just a, f yeah. a fallen tree. Heard someone. It's like there's some trouble going down here. Well, I never take turns of willingly to the You're He's limber. Oh. 
smack. Some expensive gear he's got. Hmm. Rip in peace guard. the sword you got there. This is the guard outpost at the top of the hill. Wow. I remember it. I've been through here. Final camp in the north. That's a sheer drop, isn't it? That's yeah. My name's Henry of Ta uh, My name's Henry of Scallets. Welcome to Jackass. Whee. Interesting sight. Very interesting. Get to them north woods. That bird just land, but pretended to at least. What the hell was that? Assassination. Got played, son. Hey, who's there? <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. My name, baby. What? I like how picking up 
a sword off the ground drops my halberd. But picking up things off corpses doesn't. Double stands, man. They get a lockbox around here? Oh, they do. Mm. Have a little, a little nap here. A little nappy wap. In a bandits encampment, yeah, I know. I'm overloaded. Pebbles, where are you? Pebbles? Pebbles. Pebble! Yeah. Alright, now that that messy business has been taken care of. It's a, it's a deer hunting spotting station, right? Yeah. Use it to, to spy out game. What are they called? They, they have a name, don't they? A hide? Not a hide, no. Hides, hides uh, a camouflaged area. Oh, it's gonna annoy me so much not remembering that, the word for that thing. That I definitely know. the alcohol hides. Ugh. As you may have guessed by the blood on my armor, shoes, and halberd, the deed has been done, Rabard. I found all of their campsites. The rest of the woods are clear. That's a relief. Now let's relieve ourselves of this accursed talk. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here. Can't you see we're still bombarding? You came too soon. Oh. See you later. Hey! <laughs> and they are cheering. Hi, friend. You good? I'll come back for you. No, no. Oosh. 
I like how his bow mingles in with the uh, the firewood there. Oh, my shin. There we, there we go. Alright, laddie. Hey! It's just a fun pastime, really. Go get my halberd back. There it is. Okay. Oh, yeah, we can. Go to the uh yeah. the east. Apparently southeast, but okay. Maybe even south, southeast, but okay, okay. I'm gonna go talk to our good friend, Fritz. Accident. 
this an accident? Oh yeah. Uh, I don't see any blood though. Oh. Ran over a deer apparently. Is this? Oh, we have a speech upgrade. I thought I already did that. Herbalism. Reading. All righty. This is, this is the exact place I needed to go to, so. Hey. Efforts. Hey, how'd you get so fucked up? All right, mate. Why do we need Andrew at all? Without him, there'll be more left for us. In case you haven't noticed, everybody and his brother goes through this in. Andrew knows everything that goes on in the county. And we'll have to fence a loot somewhere. And that's no easy matter. Uh, Here you've got a plan to fleece the local villains. Be nice, wouldn't it? Otherwise we soon won't have a pot to piss in. And the innkeeper here could lend a helping hand. Exactly. So what's the problem? Uh, he reckons we're not up to it. You, you should try and talk him into it. You were always good at that. Oh, and tell him I sent you, so he doesn't send you packing. Do you know how I might set about convincing Andrew? Mention money. That's all. Aye. Mm -hmm. Our friend the innkeeper is as greedy as they come. Mm -hmm. to get better at fist fighting. Certainly. I want to achieve mastery. You can't become a master overnight. You have to know almost everything before trying to achieve mastery. What? I'd like to hone my skills. All right. But it'll cost you. Fritz. Fritz! Now, pay close attention. How dare you policing me for 500 gold. I know you. Hey, Andrew. Jesus Christ be praised. Indeed. Fritz sent me. I'd like to talk about... Ah, you'd like some wine from my cellar? I have it right here, in the back. That's right. Show me the way. God be with you. He needs some elbow patches. Here 
Where'd he go? So, Fritz sent you, did he? Aye. This was his idea. Look, lad, I'm fond of Fritz. I knew his old man, but Matthew, he's insane. <laughs> Robbing people. Only those that deserve it. And you think his lordship won't mind? Have you any idea the kind of shit you can get into? I don't believe you're up to it. Why don't you believe us? There's plenty of coin in it. And almost no risk for you. So, there'd be a share in it for me? Of hey? course. A handsome one. We'll see if you're up to it. You'll need a disguise. What disguise? Use your head. You can never be sure no one will see you. Yeah, that's true. We'll have to put on some other clothes or... Dress up as humans. What? It's obvious. Isn't it? Is it? Everyone knows they're looting. If someone's robbed by humans, no one will investigate. Hmm, that's true. But I'll have to get some human clothes. A captain. And three sets of them. What? On account of the helmets. No one will recognize you with them on. And where the hell am I supposed to get it? There's gangs of humans around skeletons. I've got a good idea where to find them from. Well, passers by. I'm supposed to attack a human camp. A minute ago, you were full of yourself. And now, all of a sudden, you've lost your nerve. But the whole fucking camp. The scouts are deserters. Most likely the ones who are trying to skive off or take easy pickings. And even humans have to sleep. I just need armor and face plates. Easy peasy. I have a bed here, right? That means I have a chest here. And if I have a chest here, that means I have like eight sets of human armor. Full. Full ball. Um, armor. Wish I could search. I only have one. <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. Right, what do we need? We need uh, cumin armor. Ah, oh, that's why it's saying I've got one cumin armor. Three cumin armors and three, well we need two captain's helmets. There's a whole bunch of cumin camps nearby. Let's just raid them. Screw it, why not? This is what we do, right? 
We raid. Invaders. Da -da 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 -da. Fighting. Da -da -da -da. Invaders. Da -da -da -da. Marauding. Got stuck in my head now. I fell. <laughs> With any luck, we'll just encounter some Kumi boys on the road. Huge slam. What time is it? Quarter to seven, wow. Is this camp then? So, um, maybe I should have looked at the map. Because it's almost night time. I don't think this quest was going to be in depth. I thought we were just going to, like, rob a couple of dudes and it was going to be good. Hey! Oh. We're here, apparently. Oh, we, we were here? What? Oh, we've gone past it. going to be camped on the road. Right. Oh, there they are. I think I've already raided this camp once. Hey, it's me. It's me. It's your boy. Yeah. 
completely broken though. Like, what the hell, man? Any more? I do not remember where I killed the first lad. Were there only two? Right. They both have broken Horbucks. So stupid. And neither of them have masks. That's fun. See if I care. Where's my spear? <laughs> Halbert, come, come to me. He's close enough. And then D and then background to A. I love how bright it is out here with my spear. Hi everyone, welcome to the darkness stream. Uh, I'm streaming the darkness for 12 straight hours, and, So it's illegal to ride around a town without a torch, but I have a spear out, right? If I equip my torch, I have to drop my spear. My spear is much more important to me than the torch. Right? Because spear, very powerful weapon in combat.
If you thought you couldn't see anything. Oh my god, where am I? What am I looking at? Eh. Discovered a nest, apparently. Whoa! Very cool. Uh... We're close. We have entered the circle. I can see some glow just over the hill there. Oh, they have dogs. Why did they have to have dogs? Everybody, I need you dead. Really? Okay. We'll drop the help at the Aha! God damn it. Does that count? I don't think that counts. Oh, it does. Oh, poopy. I could have taken that, the decorated thing with the thing. Shh. Snap. Where'd that other guy go? There was a third guy. What helmets he got? No. It's an NG. Pebbles. No. Pebbles. 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 Hey. I'm going to try and skirt around this woodland area so I don't get knocked off a horse again. It's like the bane of my existence being knocked off a horse. Oh! 
That's that's water. That's deep. Is it deep? That's manageable. Mm, it's too nah, deep nah, it's deep. <laughs> I can sneak around the edge though, correct? Where am I? Legitimate question, where am I? Am I in a town? I heard a splash. Yeah. Want to splash, Mr. Sweet? I'll give you a splash. Yeah. Who's next? What time is it? It's yeah. exactly midnight. I thought maybe. I stop sprinting, I don't know. So I'm using the rain basically to see where I'm going. If that makes any sense. Scary. Do you know what? Do I not have... Uh... No, I don't. I thought I might have had a... A potion of night eye. A night owl potion. A night hawk... Potion, whatever it's called. See the warm glow of a campfire. I agree. Hundred percent, dude. Do you have any dogs? Fight me. All you got, son. God damn it. Oh, man. Oh. 
There was only one dude here? Are you kidding me? Fully joking. You're, you're having... You're having a friendly potato joke with me. Right. Uh, I'm gonna... No, no, no. No, no. No, no. Hello. Put it down in view of the campfire. Where is it? No. Adrian! Come on, we did it what, like fall through the fucking earth. It's not like here, is it? It's not just like somewhere on the floor. Hmm. Well, on the plus side, we can use the torch to, to ride the horse now. On the negative side, I have lost the most powerful weapon in the game, so there is none. Could have sworn I dropped it like here. Where would it have rolled to? I don't think it can roll, but it's on the off chance. There's a saber here. Why? 
Is that my consolation prize? Well, I guess there's, there's no use uh, moping around. Just gotta get back on the horse, you know? Do we have two helmets with visors? And we have three armors. And then the last helmet yeah. with the visor is in my lockbox. Lockbox. Grab it. A lot easier to ride a horse with the torch, I can tell that. More than one? Uh-oh. None of this would have happened if I had, uh, had my halberd. This- oh? For fuck's sake, do not, do not. Do not.
Well, that went well, I think. <laughs> Hattie Diddy. Why is everyone still up? Why is everyone walking around naked? The fuck is this shit? Do you know what, friends? I feel like that's as good a time as any to stop this this mad charade. So, thank you everyone for coming to watch the live video. If you came to watch the live video, thank you Tainted Fate for the eight month resub. It means a lot to me. Thank you for coming to watch the video on demand. If you came to watch the video on demand, and as always, I will see you in the next episode.